Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do binary, decimal, hexadecimal, and octal conversion, and some other basic calculation using this Sharp EL531X calculator. So let's get started. Let's say you are asked to convert 10110 binary uh, to decimal. So binary is base 2 and decimal is base 10. Now to convert it to decimal, when you enter the binary, you must be in binary mode. So I'm pressing second function and then uh, division sign BIN. Now you will see binary B here. At this mode, 5, 4 and all the other numbers will disable except 1 and 0. So 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Enter that and then to convert it to decimal, press second function and this. Now the value is 22, it's converted. Let's say you want to convert 231 decimal to binary. You must be in decimal, now I am. Let me go to decimal, 231, and then second function, VIN. So that's the value. Now let's say you want to convert A0B1, which is hex, to decimal. First, we must be in hex, second function, and then hex. This is x. So now we are in hex mode by pressing the x or the multiplication sign. Now all this a, b, c, d up to f are activated. So I can press directly a, 0, b, 1, the value, and then press second function and decimal. Decimal doesn't need to have anything because our regular calculations are all decimal, so we don't have any sign. So that is the value. Now let's convert uh, 1101 binary into hex. So you must be in binary, second function binary. And then the zero on the left does, uh, has no meaning, so the system will omit it, even if I enter 01101. And then second function hex. The answer is D. Now we enter octal, 272 octal into decimal. To do this, we have to be in octal, second function, OCT. Now we are in octal mode. In octal, it's base 8, so up to 8 will, uh, up to 7 will be printed, and 8 and 9 is disabled. So let's enter 272, and then second function, decimal. So that's 186. So... Quinary or base 5 calculations also can be converted with this calculator. So we must be in quinary, so second function, so PN, so that's base 5. Pen, uh, so 1, 3, 1, second function, decimal, 41. So if you want to do, let's say, OR calculation, so first be in binary, because this is binary, we want to make 1001 OR it with this value. So OR means, uh, if we call this, if we call this A and this is B, A or B must be 1 in order to get 1. So in this case, this is the OR gate. So let's do it. Be in binary mode. And then 1, Zero, zero, 001 to make it or we have or here we can do this uh, just press or directly and then zero one zero one the answer is one one zero one so there is another or with hex second function hex b and hex b three a so b three a and then OR it with DC5 or DC5. That's the answer, F. So the same way you can do AND and calculation. Second function binary, 0101. And then AND is here, 1001. So the answer is 1. And is that this element and this element, both of them must be 
1 so a and b must be 1 in order to get 1 so only we get 1 here because a and b are 1 uh, same thing for hex go to hex mode and then 3 d a and e 0 f e 0 f so that's the answer XOR, XOR mean exclusively A or exclusively B should be 1 in order to get 1 so one of them if both of them are 0 you will uh, get 0 if both of them are 1 you get 0 so 1 will be exclusively one of them will be 1 so now I'm going to binary mode sorry binary mode 0 1 1 0 and then XOR 1 0 1 1 so here this is the answer so not is just making the value inverse of what it is not 1 1 0 1 and that's the answer because all the zeros usually in binary everything is zero so it's being displayed as one and all the ones will be zero so that's it. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the, the video and also subscribe if you're interested for my upcoming videos.